You might not think that leaves like these make a handsome harvest, but when you realize they come from all around the mulberry bush, you'll know that they can mean a money-spinning crop. And spinning really is the word here, at Eyot St. Lawrence in Hertfordshire, because the mulberry leaves form the diet of that most precious of farm animals, the silkworm. These worms, and really their caterpillars, need several tons of leaves a season before they can spin their valuable silk, and they wrap it round themselves in cosy cocoons of fine raw thread, more than a mile long. It's not just a question of sitting back and letting the silkworms get on with making your fortune. They are hard to please, and you have to grow the right kind of mulberry leaves. Silkworms love a steady temperature, and like to be fed every four hours for five weeks before they get spinning. Then you have to collect them. The fine silk thread is coated with a natural sticky gum which has to be washed away. Then the silk farmers start their own spinning process, which means taking up the thread from seven cocoons and winding them at 100 yards a minute to make a yarn that's strong enough to weave. Producing silk like this is a centuries-old craft from the East. It was King James I who introduced silkworms to Britain. He ordered everyone to grow their own mulberry trees by royal command. But it never really caught on until Lullingston Silk Farm was founded over 30 years ago by Lady Hart Dyke. A skein of natural silk ready for the weavers. Silk produced here has been used for great occasions for coronation robes, but it's mostly used for the more familiar fabric that shines with the richness that is prized. Keeping silkworms is something anyone can do.